High quality sleep, massively important for your brain to detox, for your brain to repair itself. You have to have deep sleep and you have to have REM sleep. So there's stages of sleep over time. Um, and these are highly correlated with mortality rates. If you don't get all of the stages, things go bad, okay? And you have to have the right amount of all of these stages. Most adult humans need seven to nine hours of sleep. Some people believe that they don't need that much sleep or they think if they sleep that much, they're lazy. Not true. You have to have this much sleep for everything else to function properly and also for your brain to function properly. And ideally, sleep would follow the sun. What do I mean? You have to have a circadian rhythm. Almost every cell in your body has genes that turn on and off based on whether the sun is up or down. Same in your brain. Sleep should be triggered by this. If you start to blow the circadian rhythm and stay up really late, wake up really early, wake up really late, eat on a bad cycle, you mess up the circadian rhythm, which messes up the quality of your sleep, which messes up your repair processes. And you have to have that fasted state, remember, or you're not going to repair properly to include cartilage, not just brain cells. Adenosine, which is what induces sleep pressure. This is what caffeine blocks. Adenosine builds up during the day. At night, it goes down in your brain. You can't mess that up. Your brain only has one chance to detoxify itself and open the glymphatic system, which is how the brain drains everything. And that's at night when you're fasting and asleep. Memories are cemented. This is when neuroplasticity happens. So the best learning is done while you're asleep. So you study, if you get a good bedtime, go to bed early, you're gonna remember what you studied. If you don't, you're not gonna remember. This is how the cells maintain themselves. This is how the mitochondria maintain themselves. This is when misfolded damaged proteins are cleared out. This is when damaged mitochondria are repaired, new mitochondria are formed. Everything happens in sleep and particularly in fasted sleep. Heavily managed by melatonin and light. Daytime is cortisol. So melatonin helps you sleep, cortisol helps you be awake all triggered by different types of light.